7.3 Similar Triangles <laughs> Make sure that you uh, put the date to organize your notes and make sure that you put your name to identify your notes. Mine's Tara. So uh, let's remember that activity that, that we did in class. And uh, we remember that all triangles in, all angles and triangles always add up to 180. This is a very powerful um, uh, tool for us when we're, when we're talking about similar triangles. So when we're talking about similar triangles, we're talking about triangles that, exactly the way it sounds, look the same because their angles are all the same. So to identify if PQR and triangle STU are similar, we only need to know that the angles are the same. Or we can say that the sides are proportionate. That means they have the same scale factor. Another way to, to say this is to say that the sides are corresponding. So let's just take down this uh, definition. <clears throat> uh, when we're saying corresponding, uh, we say that the corresponding sides in a shape have the have a scale factor that is consistent uh, for the shape. So let's consider these triangles here, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. <coughs> so if, at first glance, we don't know what all three uh, angles are, but let's use our tip and trick. We know that all sides in a triangle add up to, uh, sorry, all angles in a triangle add up to 180. So let's figure out what this one is. I know that this is 62. And I know that this is 75, so to find this one, I go 180 minus 62 minus 75. And lo and behold, guess what? This is going to be 43 degrees. Ha! <laughs> Look at this. We can use the information for uh, PQR. We have the 75, 75, we have the 43, we have the 43, and guess what? If we take 180 minus 75 minus 43, we're going to get 62 degrees. These triangles are similar because all angles are the same. It's not like this one has 75 and this one has 74. We have 75, 75, 43, 43, 62, 62. So it's always a little bit difficult to identify the corresponding size. That can be a little bit more difficult. So I'm just going to use color. So I'm going to go from 62 to 43. That's my RP. Let's do this one. From 62 to 43 here is BC. So what I can say is BC is congruent or corresponding to, and I'm going from 62 to 43, so I'm going to say it is similar to RP. Similarly, I can say that the 62 to 75 is BA, 62 to 75 is RQ. So I can also say that BA is similar to RQ. Last but not least, do you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna highlight the colors just so that you can see that. There you go. That's nice. Let's finish off with uh, green. So from 75 to 43, AC <coughs> is similar to QP. So I'm just gonna preemptively put my color there. I'm 
I going to say? Okay, the 75 is A, and the 43 is C, is similar to or uh, corresponds to uh, Q to P. The order is kind of important because it's saying that B is the same angle as R, uh, so keep in mind, keep that in mind. So to find if two uh, triangles are similar, uh, find all the angles. Uh, see if two are given, and then check to see if the scale factor is the same uh, for all sides of the triangle. So identify the similar triangles, justify your answer. So what I can do is I can call this side A, I can call this side B, I can call this side C, and then D, and then E, and then F. I'm saying that A is similar to D, and I'm saying that B is similar to E, and I'm saying that C is similar to F. So the first thing, first we need to check if they all have the same scale factor. So I'm going to say D over A is 12 over 4, which is uh, 3. Okay, cool. So we compared the two similar sides here. And I'm going to take the same triangle, so start with the E on the top and then the B on the bottom. That's still 12 over 4 is 3. Yep. That's, so we start out with a bigger triangle here. So I'm going to say F over C is 21 over 7, which is also 3. So therefore, that's what these, this symbol means. Therefore, uh, the triangles are similar because the scale factor is consistent. Let's see this one. This one's a little bit more twisted here. Um, so I'm just looking uh, I'm just looking at this right here. I'm kind of thinking that this matches up with this one and these guys match up. So first things first, let's just see if we can find the scale factor with this one. So we're going to start uh, with the with the pink here. So I'm going to start out with a bigger one because I like to deal with numbers that uh, are a little bit bigger. So I'm going to say T S over um, P Q is 6 over 4, which is going to be 1.5. Cool. So then I'm going to see what other, what other sides do I think kind of match up. So if this one, if I go... If I go 9 divided by 6, am I also going to get uh, 1.5? I think so. So that means that SR over QR is 9 over 6, which is also 1.5. That bodes well. So as long as the last one also has that scale factor, then that means that um, we have... Uh, we have a sim we have similar triangles here. So we start out with the we let's start out with the big one. So we're gonna say T R T R over uh, P R is seven point five over five, which is one point five. So triangles therefore triangles are similar because they have a consistent scale factor. Perfect. Okay, last but not least, we can use the we can use the idea of similar triangles to help us find different lengths. So example number two. A surveyor wants to determine the width of a lake at two points on the opposite side of the lake. She measures the distances and angles on the land and then sketches uh, this diagram. How can the surveyor uh, determine length HN to the nearest meter? Okay, well, first of all, let's think about this notation a little bit. See how you have a double kind of uh, marking here? That means that this angle and this angle are the exact same angle. And see the single one? That means this angle and this angle are the exact same angle. 
And J is consistent to both triangles. We have this big triangle here and this smaller triangle here. So we have a case of similar triangles. So triangle JPQ is similar to triangle JHN because all angles are similar. So since I know that, let's draw out the, both of these triangles here. So I have the large one, J, H, N. I have the smaller one here. So I have J, P, Q. So what I want to do is I want to find out what this H, N is. That means that the corresponding side to that, I'm going to use the information that I know about P and Q. So I know that this one right here is going to be 230. And I want to find out what this is. This length here for J, PJ is going to be 210. We have to do some adding here because we have 210 plus uh, 305. So if we go 210 plus 305, that's going to be 515 meters. Awesome. So let's figure out what the scale factor is. Since we know that they're similar, we just use the size that we know. So I'm going to say this guy here is uh, corresponding to this side here. So the scale factor is going to be HJ over PJ, which is going to be 515 over 210. <laughs> so the scale factor here is actually going to be 2.4524. I'm going to keep it to four decimal places just so that we can uh, that we can use it all. So that's our scale factor. So to get to HN, we take our smaller side which is p q and we multiply it by that scale factor it's the same thing as in uh, as in reductions and uh, enlargements so h n equals p q which is 230 times the scale factor which is 2.4524 and i like this because scale factors don't always have to be absolutely perfect so then we have our h n equals Five point, uh, sorry, five hundred and sixty-four point uh, oh five meters. So that's really cool. You guys just did the work of a surveyor. Uh, surveyors are very important because they help us uh, understand uh, how far distances are, where lines are. Um, they help in the city when it comes to property lines. Um, and they they just they they really help us uh, sort things out uh, in terms uh, in terms of lengths. So um, in summary, we can say that triangles are similar when angles are the same or sides are corresponding. We can use this information to find missing sides.